Hi, it's Dwyer. Happy February. It's February the 1st, 2019. Let's talk boxing. But first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Well, Keith Thurman is back. He's calling out Manny Pacquiao. As my mom used to always tell me, be careful what you wish for. What I want people to do is to focus on round seven of the Jose Cito Lopez versus Keith Thurman fight. Let's be real here. Thurman's now in his 30s, right? He's coming off a huge injury. You know that by just the length of time he stayed out of the ring, right? Anything related to a shoulder, rotator cuff, that's major. Across the ocean, George Groves had a shoulder problem. I know here, you know, in the world of public relations, they tried to tell you that George Groves had rehabbed the injury and stuff like that. Here on YouTube, hey, all the people here on YouTube understood that shoulder injury was major, right? It was a career shortener. Well, of course, George Groves went out, lost to Callum Smith. Now George Groves is retired. What I want people to do is to look at Keith Thurman's shoulder carefully, right? He was out for more than a year. Understand when he took the hiatus for medical reasons, he was one of the hottest names in boxing. He had beaten unbeaten Danny Garcia. He had a great fight against Sean Porter. He was at the center of the welterweight division before Terrence Crawford even entered the division. There were big fights left and right, but that injury was so significant that he had to take a protracted leave of absence. Folks, it shows. He gets battered in that seventh round. I'm talking about battered. What I want you to do as you look at the seventh round, and you got portions of the fight up on YouTube, is just look at how Thurman can't even clinch Jose Cito Lopez. Look at Thurman's head. Folks, he's getting hit with shots he's not expecting. You know that just by how his head moves. He's getting beaten up in that seventh round. He's this close to getting stopped. Let me also point out that Jose Cito Lopez, as determined as he is, and he's a warrior, he doesn't hit as hard. He just simply doesn't. Nor as suddenly as Manny Pacquiao. He just doesn't. Right? Pacquiao, Pacquiao could be 40 years old. Right? I say BFD. Look at the hand speed, not at the calendar. Right? This is a guy who still is sudden, who still hits hard. Right? If Keith Thurman looked that bad against Jose Cito Lopez, and Lopez is landing punches flush on him. Look at the side of Keith Thurman's head. Right? Thurman is so wounded, he couldn't even have a hand up and just back away to make sure that he wasn't exposed. He's getting battered. I know he wins the fight. <clears throat> I understand he wins the fight. He was severely tested. In my eyes, <clears throat> there is simply no way that this version of Keith Thurman, who's struggling against Jose Cito Lopez, who is not viewed like Errol Spence is viewed, like Terrence Crawford is viewed, like Manny Pacquiao is viewed at 147 pounds. If Keith Thurman's going to struggle like this against Jose Cito Lopez, in my opinion, he has no shot against Manny Pacquiao. 
right? He certainly can't beat Pacquiao on points. Let's also talk about his punch. I believe Thurman's reputation is as a one-time puncher, right? The guy who only has to hit you once and the fight's over. Now, if that's the case, before he leaves the sport, how is Danny Garcia going 12 rounds against him? This fight's rough and tumble. Thurman does win the fight. Thurman does land big shots. Right? How come Jose Cito Lopez is able to take the big shots? Right? Lopez is rough and tumble, folks, from the first round to the last round. Even when he's hit with big shots, there's no surrender. Right? That fight with Thurman, that's an all-out war. Right? Well, the problem is simply if you take away Thurman's punching power, given that his defense slips when he moves, given that his punch resistance isn't fully there, right? He gets hit with bombs in this fight. Right? At least he looks like he's hit with bombs. If Thurman's no longer one time, if he's more 12 round Keith Thurman, how's he going to beat a guy with hands as fast as Manny Pacquiao's? Understand, Pacquiao is loved. There comes a time when fans start a career appreciation portion of a fighter's career. Right? People see Pacquiao at 40. If you're going to beat Pacquiao by decision, you're going to have to beat him by a few rounds. Right? Close fights, people are going to give Pacquiao the benefit of the doubt. Understand, there are many people out there who feel he got jobbed against Jeff Horn. Right? Teddy Atlas among them. Right? So, the fans feel sympathy for Manny. We rally around guys who we feel haven't gotten the benefit of the doubt. Many people feel he got jobbed in the Timothy Bradley fight. Right? So, all I'm saying is when you have an esteemed guy with hand speed and power and elusiveness still, like Manny Pacquiao, if you're a fighter like Keith Thurman and you don't quite have Pacquiao's hand speed, Right? You don't quite have Pacquiao's charisma. The fans respect you. They don't love you like they love Manny Pacquiao. Right? How do you expect to beat Manny Pacquiao if you don't have the kind of punch where if you land it flush, you take him out? Let's talk about how much Manny Pacquiao is loved. The Tyson Fury Deontay Wilder fight generated less pay per view buys. Think about it. The lineal heavyweight champion against the unbeaten WBC heavyweight champion generated less pay per view buys than Manny Pacquiao's fight against Adrian Broner, who hasn't exactly been on a hot streak. Right, Broner loses to Mikey Garcia. He gets a draw with Jesse Vargas that I thought he lost. He didn't look that good against Adrian Grados, right? Manny Pacquiao fights him. Generates 400,000 views. Now, I'll agree. Broner is a character. People want to see Broner. Broner was part of the 400,000 pay-per-view buys. Right, But understand, Manny Pacquiao was also a big part of that. I'm sure Broner himself would concede. Pacquiao's a big box office draw. Right Now let's get off road here and go someplace people are afraid to go. Let's say you're Keith Thurman and you sense that the water... Sorry, I don't know that one that the water is deep at 147 pounds. 
right? In addition to the names I've mentioned, you have Jeff Horn, right? You have other guys at 147 pounds, right? The winner of that Mikey Garcia Errol Spence fight. That's a big money fight. Folks, the loser of the Mikey Garcia Errol Spence fight. That's a big money fight. Right? Let's say you're now in your 30s. Let's say you've been out of the ring for a long time. Well, north of a year. Let's say you understand this is welterweight. This isn't heavyweight. Heavyweights age more slowly. Right? At welterweight, folks, careers end earlier. Now, if you're Keith Thurman, we all have to face our own mortality sooner or later. Right? Do you go on a suicide run at this point? You understand fans will look the other way off of your lackluster performance against Jose Cito Lopez. We'll give you a freebie here. Because you were a warrior before the injury, this is your first fight back. So we're saying, okay, your first fight back, you took on a rough and tumble warrior in Jose Cito Lopez, a guy who's going to bring it, right? You uh, won the fight, you survived some tough moments, okay, we understand you're shaking the rust off. But if you're Keith Thurman right now, given that you know that Manny Pacquiao is box office gold, given that you also know that you have a bunch of guys, Danny Garcia among them, Sean Porter, who want redemption against you, that's in addition to Errol Spence, Terrence Crawford, you got Jeff Horn openly mocking you in the press, saying, hey, after that last fight, we don't have to worry about Keith Thurman as much. Now, if you in your head know that on a given night, any of these men might be able to beat you. After all, you know, while you've been out of the ring injured, these men have been in the ring sharpening their skills. You don't think of all the fights he had, Danny Garcia doesn't think about his fight against you, his loss. You don't think Sean Porter, in a fight that was razor close, isn't thinking about that fight at least some part of every day? Now, if you're not the man you used to be. Isn't now the perfect time to fight Manny Pacquiao? Right? Just, just understand the logic. If you sense you're no longer A+, plus, that your A-plus game is no longer possible. Hell, if you sense that your A game is no longer possible, Right? It's not just injury, it's father time, it's rust. If you look at the seventh round and you say to yourself, of every round I've had in my career, this is the worst round of my career. And that was in my last fight. If you sense that you've peaked, that isn't one way to protect your legacy. To fight an all-time great, Manny Pacquiao, right? No shame in losing to Manny Pacquiao, right? Fight Manny Pacquiao, get big money, right? Just look at the payday Broner got for fighting Pacquiao. Your payday would be even more than that because you're an unbeaten fighter. If you get lucky, right? If lightning strikes, you hit Pacquiao the right way and he goes down like he did that last Marquez fight, my God, you're a legend. Right? We would say, hey, Thurman came back and Thurman beat Manny Pacquiao. Right? That's almost a guaranteed entry into the Boxing Hall of Fame after your unbeaten career. 
right? At that point, you might be thinking about the off-ramp. You might, you might be able to say, you know what, I'm going to give Manny a rematch because we know Manny's a warrior, right? You beat Manny, Manny wants to fight you again. Look at the Timothy Bradley series of fights, right? Manny was out there trying to fight Marquez again. Manny wants to fight Floyd again. Right, so if you beat Manny and you're Keith Thurman, you can literally avoid the other guys. Right, Errol Spence, Mikey Garcia, Terrence Crawford. You say, hey, you know, Pacquiao and I, I had to give Pacquiao a rematch clause for the first fight. I'm going to honor the contract, right? Even though we know in negotiations you practically volunteered that rematch clause. Right? You would rather fight a guy who you've just beaten who's in his 40s than fight some of these young Colts, some of these young Lions who are in their prime. Right, If you beat Pacquiao a second time, you ride off into the sunset. If Pacquiao beats you in the rematch, you can still ride off into the sunset. Right? People will look at the Pacquiao series and say, you know what, Keith got his, then Manny got his. No harm in that. Right? You leave with a resume of unbeaten fighter loses the rematch to Manny Pacquiao. And of course, it's prize fighting. Which fighter is going to get you more box office than Manny Pacquiao? Right? If I were advising Keith Thurman, I would tell him privately. First, I'd check the room for bugs. Then I'd tell him, Keith, you know, you might never get back to where you were. You might never get back to a position where you could beat Sean Porter again. Or where you could beat Danny Garcia. Right? You might never get there. Understand, both fights, relatively close. Right? That's before the injury. So I would say, you know what, why don't we try to take the money and run? In other words, this is a sport where if you stay too long at the party, you might end up with slurred speech. Right? We're hearing about CTE in football. You know it exists in boxing. I would tell him, you know, you're in your 30s. Marvin Hagler retired at 32. Right? Some great fighters retired early. Andre Ward retired in his early 30s. Right? I would say, hey, let's talk with Al Heyman. Let's talk with Manny Pacquiao. Right? You're an unbeaten fighter, high profile. Pacquiao's looking for high-profile fights, right? You're in your 40s. You don't have time to fool around with low-profile fights, right? Take the money. If Pacquiao beats you, you have the ready-made excuse. You could say, you know what? My shoulder's just not what it once was, or gee, I thought I could shake off this rust, and I haven't been able to. Then you can ride off into the sunset. People will look at the Keith Thurman resume, see big names, Garcia, Sean Porter, other big names, and then they'll see who you lost to, Manny Pacquiao, and they say, well, hell, he, he lost to a Hall of Famer. He's not the first Hall of Famer to lose to Manny Pacquiao. And folks will respect you because you'd clearly be taking on big names, <laughs> right? Right? Flip the script. Let's say Thurman instead decides to take safe fights. I'm just here to tell you that when you're coming back from injury and you're getting hit as much as Thurman got hit by Jose Cito Lopez in that seventh round and other rounds, right, there are no safe fights. There's a distinct possibility that Keith Thurman fights the wrong up-and-coming fighter. And that fighter is ready for him. Right? Some young guys don't remember past last year. The aura veterans think they have might not even be an aura these young guys know about. Right? Worse yet, 
Let's say you fight a guy who's been gunning for you for years. Let's say you fight Terence Crawford, who has studied you, who's ready for you. Right? It could end badly. And all I'm saying is, Crawford's a lot younger than Manny Pacquiao. Right? Crawford probably doesn't carry the box office with him that Manny Pacquiao would carry to the ring. So, to the gamblers, let me say this. If they announce a Manny Pacquiao, Keith Thurman fight, I'm going to try to figure out a way to put money on Manny Pacquiao. Right? The hedge is simple. Keith Thurman by KO. Because I just don't think Thurman can outbox Manny Pacquiao. Not at this stage. Right? If I'm Keith Thurman, even knowing that a Pacquiao fight might be a suicide run, that there's a less than 50, hell, there's a less than 60, hell, there's a less than 65% chance that I lose, excuse me, there's a 65% chance that I lose the fight. Right? If I'm Thurman, I take the fight anyway. Get the paydays while you can. Go for the box office and the glory. Right? Assume that the man you were at 27 might never be back. Or that it'll take you so long to shake off the rust to get back to where you were that you'll be at risk in your next couple of fights. And the fans want to see you against A-plus fighters. Right? You, you can't be out there fighting no-names when Sean Porter and Danny Garcia want redemption. When Errol Spence, Mikey Garcia, and Terrence Crawford want validation. So I like Manny Pacquiao. As I said in an earlier video, this is one of those rare moments in history where an all-time great has a chance to mow down the generation after him. Right? I think Manny Pacquiao is live against any of the fighters I've named. Right? He's much faster than Errol Spence. Right? I think a Mikey Garcia fight's interesting. But there wouldn't be a defined pocket in that fight, and I think that would hurt Mikey Garcia. I don't think Crawford has Manny Pacquiao's reflexes. Right? Those are the guys I believe Manny's targeting. Right? Again, you're in your 40s, you want to fight the best. Right? The guys with titles, they're going to grab your attention before the guys without titles. Right? Keith Thurman, in that mix, I think is at a disadvantage. For those who doubt it, cue up the seventh round of the Jose Cito Lopez fight. Right, folks? If Lopez had just landed one more big punch, that fight would have been over. We wouldn't even be thinking about Keith Thurman hopping in the ring with Manny Pacquiao. There's a moment in that round where Josecito Lopez hits Thurman and Thurman just seems to fall back on the ropes. Right? You notice that Thurman can't anticipate the punches coming at him. Right? Thurman's defense used to be a lot better than that. It's going to take Thurman some time to get his defense where it once was. He might not be able to do it, unfortunately, because he's been out of the ring for so long. The fans are going to be impatient. Right? Also, let's face it. Boxing's a jungle. Guys want to make a name for themselves. So they're going to want to fight you. When you're still a big name, but you're not on your A game. Right? You heard Jeff Horn 
say, hey, you know, Keith Thurman, we don't have to think of him the same way anymore, basically. Right? The tape's that bad. Let me say this, too. Robert Garcia, by the way, Mikey Garcia, behind the scenes, is helping Jose Cito Lopez, right, with his camp and stuff like that. So, Mikey gets his older brother, Robert, to leave to go to New York as his daughter turns 15. Now understand, that's a big, that's a big holiday in some cultures, right? Robert Garcia, of course, heads out to New York anyway. And he's glad he did. Think about it. He's glad he did, even with the loss. Because the loss for Jose Cito Lopez is really a win. In other words, his quarter saw him cuffing around Keith Thurman. And they realized, man, we could have won this fight. I'm sure Jose Cito Lopez now is thinking, man, you know, I could be champ at 147. Right? That's how bad. That's how bad it was for Keith Thurman. Now, I know on the telecast, people like Ray Mancini, Danny Garcia's on the telecast. They're saying, yeah, we think Keith Thurman won the fight and stuff like that. Let's just say, I'm sure before the fight, they didn't think they'd have to play cheerleader after the fight in talking up Thurman. Right? I'm sure they thought Jose Cito Lopez, who's offensive, Right? He's not trying to hide from you. He's there throwing punches. He's coming to rumble. I'm sure they thought, wow, you come to rumble against Keith Thurman, that's a recipe for disaster. Folks, it almost was for Keith Thurman. That's how I see it. I like Manny Pacquiao over Keith Thurman. Southpaw, speed, angles, Pacquiao can fight low. Right? If Pacquiao gets Keith Thurman is hurt, as he was in the seventh round against Jose Cito Lopez, folks, lights out. Thurman's not making it through the fight. Keep in mind, too, with Manny's hand speed, he doesn't even have to finish Thurman. He gets Thurman that hurt, all he has to do is step up in the pocket, start throwing combinations. The referee's going to see Thurman getting battered because Thurman's defense was way off. And the ref might jump in to stop the fight. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I would hedge with Thurman by KO. Why not? You should be getting huge odds on Thurman by KO. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. Manny to win hedged with Thurman by KO. That's how I see it right now. If I'm Thurman, I take the fight because I'm in my 30s. And I need to respect the payday, and I need to respect the fact that I might not get back to where I was. And the fans might figure that out if I fight the wrong opponent before the big payday fight. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.